Welcome to Electron Line, and here we're going to see finally how to find the distance to a star using the HR diagram. This is what all that fuzz was about, so to speak, all the last several videos. So here's a good example for us. Let's say we have a star that has an apparent magnitude of plus 8 and an absolute, absolute magnitude of minus 2. How far is this star? And I need a question mark there. All right. Well, first of all, how do we figure out the apparent magnitude? We take a telescope, we look at the star, we measure the brightness of that star, we have means to do that using a certain filtering system. We can actually find the color of the star and the brightness of the star using our telescopes. And so we come up with this measurement. So, all right, that's how bright the star appears to us. Now, the second part is we need to find the absolute brightness of the star. Of the star. So how do we do that? That's why we need the HR diagram. Because we look at the color of the star, we measure it very, very precisely. We come down to the HR diagram, we find the color of the star, we come up here until we reach the main sequence, then we come up to the left side and we read off on our scale what the absolute magnitude is. Simply by knowing the color, and by knowing it's the main sequence star, we can find the absolute magnitude, and so now also the absolute magnitude is known. Now we have to figure out how far it is to the star. Remember what the absolute magnitude is. The absolute magnitude is the brightness it would appear to us if it was at a distance of 10 parsecs. So if we place a star right on the distance, 10 parsecs away from the Earth, it would appear to us as a minus 2 magnitude star. But instead, instead of looking as a minus 2 magnitude star, it actually appears to us as a plus 8 magnitude star. So it's a lot dimmer than it would appear to us if it was a 10 parsecs away, which then means it must be much farther away. So therefore, the star is actually way out here, so it looks like a very, very dim plus 8 magnitude star. Matter of fact, with the naked eye, you wouldn't, even be, you wouldn't even be able to see it. You would need a binocular or a small telescope or so to see the star. So, how do you then calculate the distance? Well, if the star is farther away than 10 parsecs, you use this equation. If it's closer than 10 parsecs, you use this equation. But we already, already established it was farther away because the apparent magnitude is dimmer than the absolute magnitude, so we knew that it had to be farther away. So we're going to use this equation right here. And all we have to do is take the 10 parsecs and multiply it times the square root of the difference of the intensity between here and here. Wow, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we want to find the difference in the magnitudes. So the difference in the magnitudes, delta m, is equal to um, 8 minus a minus 2 is equal to a 10. So the difference in magnitudes between the absolute and the apparent is 10 magnitudes. So then you find the difference in intensity. The difference in intensity is equal to 2.512 raised to the difference in the magnitude. So in this case it's 2.512 raised to the 10 power, which is equal to 10,000. Wow! How did I figure it out without a calculator? Well, it turns out that for every 5 magnitudes, it's a difference of 100. So for 5 magnitudes, it's 100. For 10 magnitudes, it's 100 times 100, so it would be 10,000. For 15 magnitudes, it would be 100 times 100 times 100, which would be a million. So that means that the star is 10,000 times brighter if it was here at 10 parsecs than when it is where it actually is at. And so we take that number, the difference in intensity, plug it into the radical here, so we have the so 10,000, which means this is equal to 10 parsecs times 100, because the square root of 10,000 is 100, which is 1,000 parsecs, which of course is 3,260 light years. So that means, with the use of the HR diagram to establish its absolute brightness, simply because we knew the color and we knew it was a main sequence star, so therefore the absolute magnitude was minus 2, and then by measuring the apparent magnitude, by just taking a telescope, looking at it, measuring its brightness, we from that can then determine the difference in the magnitudes. We can then figure out the difference in the intensities between what it would be if it was a 10 parsecs and what it appears to us where it actually is at. Then we take this equation, 10 parsecs times the square root of the difference in the intensities, and we get the actual distance of where that star is at. Isn't that great? And it turns out, by the way, if the star happened to be closer, again, you measure the difference in magnitudes, then you measure the difference in intensities, and then you use this equation, you divide by the square root of the difference in intensities to get the distance, which then will be closer than 10 parsecs instead of farther away. 
But that's how we do that. That's how we determine the distance of stars using the HR diagram.